Ever since the Nerf Modulus line came out in 2015, Hasbro has been giving us a great variety of useful Nerf accessories. But in this video, I want to shine some light on some accessories that Nerf has yet to create or perfect. In this video, I'm going to be presenting 8 useful custom Nerf accessories. What is up everyone, my name is Legit Fred and I release a new video every Saturday so make sure you press that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new Nerf content. All of these custom made accessories are from Fred Latesta. He's one of the more popular Nerf custom accessory sellers on eBay and if you've been a fan of my old channel Raigai1050, you might have seen my two review videos that I did of his products. Well recently he was kind enough to send me a third batch of items to review and instead of just doing a regular review video, I just wanted to make this video where I compile all of my favorite products that he sent me over the years. Big shout out to Fred Latesta for sending me stuff multiple times to make these videos. I really appreciate it and I do really love his work. So check out his eBay store and his regular store jealouspanda.com down below in the description. All right, let's talk about the very first Nerf custom accessory, the Nerf Triad Foregrip. So you take this piece, you snap it onto the triad like I already did, and then you can attach this to a tactical rail. And I find that it works the best on bottom tactical rails where you can use this as a foregrip. You can even have the triad already primed so you can have an extra shot anytime you want. However, priming the triad is tricky when it's already attached to a blaster. You have to use your fingers and your thumb to try to prime it and it's not the easiest thing. But the awesome thing is, with the snap of your wrist, you can easily take the triad off the attachment and use it by itself. So you might be thinking, screw that, I don't need the triad foregrip, I already have the modulus grip blaster. And you're right, the grip blaster is a lot more secure to use compared to the triad foregrip. However, the triad foregrip was around even before the grip blaster existed, so this was even more useful back then. Also, the triad has one extra dart because of its three dart barrel. Even though the triad is around four years old now, it's still one of my favorite pocket sized blasters. I still really like the triad foregrip, but I can see why people won't be as interested in it now. Next up, let's take a look at the Jolt foregrip connector. This works very similar to the triad foregrip, except it holds a Jolt plus two extra darts. However, I was super disappointed with the dart holders because they're way too tiny, and when you try to put darts in, they'll actually scratch against the inside of the dart holder. So I would just say, don't, don't use these at all. You can attach this to a bottom tack rail and use it as a foregrip. However, it's not the most secure, so pulling back on the gel could actually, you know, pull it off the accessory. But despite all this, I still think this is a really handy accessory to hold this pocket-sized blaster onto a different blaster. And when you want to, with the flick of your wrist, you can just pull this off and use it by itself. This next accessory I got for you guys are really fun to use. These are the Nerf to Nerf blaster connectors. You slide this onto the one tactical rail of a blaster and then onto the tactical rail of another blaster to combine them as one. And this way you can create some really wacky or practical combinations. I have this photo on Instagram where I'm just using a bunch of Fred Latesta's custom accessories to make this ridiculous stampede combo and it's my most popular Instagram photo to date. And speaking of shameless self-promotion, follow me on Instagram. I've never really promoted it before for, but yeah, I post Nerf uh, photos, pop culture photos, and just updates and what's going on with my YouTube stuff. Here are just some examples of what the Nerf to Nerf blaster connectors can do. Next up, we got an item that Fred Latesta sent me that's not even released on his website yet. He wanted me to take a look at it before it goes live, which is pretty cool. This is the Rival to Nerf Blaster Connector, which allows you to attach a Rival Blaster to a Nerf End Strike Blaster. I thought the concept was pretty cool, and after playing around with these, I really like them. This is probably more of a fun accessory than a practical accessory, but you can still come up with some actually useful combinations. The one combo that I really enjoyed making was the Apollo shot where I combined the Apollo and the hammer shot together. It looks wacky but it's useful and surprisingly secure since these pieces are so wide. Unfortunately these will only work on tactical rails that are completely accessible at the front or the back and I was really bummed out because I thought it would be really funny if I could attach these you know, between a, a stampede and a nemesis. Even though I really like this accessory, my biggest complaint are these bumps here. And I know a lot of Fred Latesta's accessories have these bumps in order to try to lock into the notches of the tactical rails. But more often than not, these bumps actually prevent the accessories from getting onto the tactical rails. So word of advice, I would say just completely remove the bumps that work with a greater variety of blasters, including rival and end strike blasters. And since these pieces are so wide, they're even more secure than the Nerf 
nerf to nerf connectors. Want to get those sick gun mounted shots for your cool YouTube videos? Well, now you can with the nerf rival tactical rail GoPro mount and the nerf end strike tactical rail GoPro mount. These will work with any GoPros as long as you have the screws and nuts to secure them into the mounts. I'm not sure if it's just the specific cut of my products, but for the end strike one, I only needed a screw and no nut to secure the GoPro since it was such a tight fit. But for the rival GoPro mount, I actually had to use an extra thumb screw to secure the other side of the screw. And if you don't have that, you can just buy some extra nuts off eBay for like a couple of bucks to secure this down. In all honesty, I would recommend you just buy the Nerf rival GoPro mount because it lacks this little bump that the end strike GoPro mount has. And because of that, it will work on more tactical rail accessories on Nerf blasters as well as rival and end strike tactical rails. Unfortunately, these will only work on tactical rails that are completely accessible at the front or the back. So unfortunately for blasters like the Chaos or the Nemesis, you can't snap these on because these are just 3D printed products. Using these accessories, you can get some really cool blaster mounted shots that provide a different perspective compared to just wearing the GoPro on your head or your chest. Also, if you face the GoPro the other way, you can get some really cool close up face and blaster mounted shots. So these accessories could be really useful for your action movies, YouTube videos, scripted and non-scripted Nerf Wars. And I'm so glad this custom Nerf accessory exists because GoPros have amazing video quality. Every time a new one comes out, there's no need to upgrade this accessory. You can just mount it the exactly same way. And Nerf has tried tactical rail stuff like this before, you know, with the cam, the battle scout, and the tactical rail mount, just to name a few. But these were never permanent good quality solutions. And we probably won't be seeing an official Nerf GoPro accessory anytime soon because of branding issues and other complicated stuff, so this is a great alternative. Question of the day, which one of these custom Nerf accessories do you like the most? Let me know down below in the comments, and since you're down there, check out my links to buy some Nerf blasters. They're affiliate links, which means if you buy anything, I get a little bit of commission, that money goes straight back in this channel and you don't pay anything extra. Time to present the flashlight holder. It holds a flashlight. Cool! Attaching a flashlight to this accessory is as simple as its name. You simply grab a flashlight that will fit in the grooves of the accessory, place it on top, and grab a couple of zip ties. Slide each zip tie into the slots of the accessory, tie it tightly, cut off the extra ends, and you got yourself a flashlight that can be mounted on any Nerf tactical rail. And since it lacks some bumps on the bottom of the accessory, you can even attach this to certain rival blasters, such as the Apollo. And the reason I like this so much is because Nerf branded flashlights have always been crappy because they can't be too bright, otherwise, you know, kids might blind themselves, parents might sue, all, all that bad stuff. But with this accessory, you can have your flashlight as bright as you want, which is great for indoor Nerf wars in the dark or just for low light conditions. I'm just using a cheap flashlight for this accessory, but it's already brighter than any Nerf branded flashlights out there. And if you're one of those guys who own one of those hardcore tactical uh, flashlights, then this will be even more useful. So grab that Nerf modulus tactical light, throw it down, and pick up the flashlight holder, an accessory that does its job properly. This is definitely one of my favorite accessories from Red Latesta. The next product I want to show you is the Nerf Dart Holder. It holds up to five Nerf darts onto a tactical rail and it's especially useful for front loading blasters such as the Hammer Shot. But if you already have the Dart Holder from the Rebel Heartbreaker Bow or the Nerf Ion Fire, then you might not see a use for this five dart holder. But that's where the eight dart holder comes into play. This thing holds enough darts to completely reload your Hammer Shot, your Strong Arm, or your Disruptor. If you want a more sleek form factor, you can put this on a side tactical rail where it'll take up less space. Fred Latest this custom Nerf dart holders are a lot thinner and smaller in profile compared to the Nerf branded ones and they still hold the darts really snugly and almost too snug for my liking. What I found with these accessories is that they hold darts really tightly and can even leave marks when you're trying to pull them out. So what I did was I just grabbed some sandpaper, sanded down those rough edges and that did the trick. Once again these are super useful accessories and I really like them. And this is possibly a better option than buying Nerf blasters just to get their dart holders. Next up we got the magazine holder. This is another great option to hold some extra ammo onto your Nerf blasters. This can hold onto your 6, 10, 12, or 18 dart magazines. For a more sleek and secure form factor, this magazine holder works best on side tactical rails. For the most part, this can hold mags pretty well except for the heavier 18 dart mags. When you start using those, they're more prone to wobbling, which is kind of annoying, and if you run around and bump into it, there's a better chance of them falling out. However, this isn't really an issue at all with your 12, 10, or 
or six dart magazines, they're pretty secure. So considering that, this is a great option to hold an extra 12 darts on blasters with side tactical rails such as the Recon Mark II. And that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, shout out to Fred the Tester for sending me these. Check out his links down below in the description. Subscribe button, like button, press those if you enjoyed this video. Check out these other videos, they're pretty fun too. Once again, thank you so much and I'll see you all in the next one.